Hello, and welcome back to A Scary Tale by Razzleberries. We're back again. Honestly, this is I've realised how long like this series has taken up now. I think this is the fifth episode. Um, and then we've had... What was it? There was another one before as well. The, um... Which horror map was it? Oh, the... the not the best one. The It was only a two-parter as well, but, like, I only realised yesterday that... Oh my gosh, we've not done a tour episode in so long. Sorry, Blazing Tomato. Um, I've also seen they've done a Dr. Seuss add-on. I don't know if people want that. Um, if they do, do comment. Um, oh, and I saw the comment from um, the person that commented the Cottage Life again. I, I may play that one. I think I will, but it's just because if it was a bit later, um, the hype for it might not be as large. Uh, but, you know, I'll give it a go. I think that's a bit too mean. Right. Here we go. All right. Oh. Look, they've probably just got termites in the roof. That's all. Just termites. Like a bomb. Explosion, you know. Okay. Now this is where we're standing. Oh, do we have a boss fight on our hands? Boss fight, boss fight. No puzzle, please. Boss fight, boss fight, boss fight, boss fight, boss fight. Cross to the other side. Oh, it's like um, it's like an Undertale, you know, Hotland. Reset. Okay. So. What the? Oh, okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Can I just not? Alright. And you can't jump. Okay, this is actually going to be tough. Um, a cool puzzle, though. It's not like the Undertale one, unfortunately. Okay. Oh, gosh. It's already worked it off. Okay, there. Then. Can I, like, skimmy across? Okay. And then that's... Oh, you're joking. No. We were so close. But I didn't knock off the first one. Alright. Hmm. I think we can go there. 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 Oh, no. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Okay. I'll have another crack. This is a good puzzle, though. I like this one. Okay, so there's safe. We can probably cut all of that off. Can I shimmy across? Okay, the shimmying did not was did not happen. I could do it like that. Oh, but it got rid of my pathway. Okay, because then can. Oh gosh. Um. Ah, oh, damn it! I hate not being able to jump. Oh, and I've just done that. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Is it resetting differently every time as well? It might be. That's definitely the the best one for that. Then probably that way. Hmm. We could probably go up one. And then down. And then maybe let's let's try this route. To be fair. Okay. There's that. Knock off the past. Knock off that way. Then go left. It only knocks off one little bit. There. Then there. Oh, great. Okay. Hang on, this is fine. Until we get to here. And then we cross. And we're done. Look at that. I'm an amazing, amazing puzzlist. Keep exploring. Okay. I must say, this mansion's taken a massive turn being all undergroundy woundy now. Okay. This is such a sick map. Honestly, it's nearly been like 50 minutes now. Okay. Enigma of the Tombs. 50 minutes. And this is worth it. I think you can always tell the, the map the map well just generally by the time. And like I record the episodes doing everything in the map. Not like any like say like I could have solved this puzzle in between an episode for example. Cut it out. I do every like natural puzzle solving. Um, I hope people like that. Like the uncut versions. Select a pair of tombs using the buttons. If you then open them they will show the same colour then stay unlocked. Okay, this one's always just kind of trial and error. Is this just know your Roman numerals? So five, four, three, two, one. Oh, it's just no no Roman numerals. Okay, one. I need a one. That's ten. That's eleven. Twelve. Oh no. Okay, this is going to be trial and error, isn't it? I don't think the numbers actually count. Okay, you're. Orange, yellow, okay. 
Oh, this is going to take a while. I just need to know where everything is first, to be fair. Pink. Pink. Oh, I don't want one. Hell yeah. Okay, that helps. Um, I don't know how we're just kind of opening tombs just for fun. Okay, purple. Red. Oh, that does, really doesn't help. Okay. Um, I bet you're red. So, let's try here. Red. Cyan. Oh, I clicked the wrong bed, but that is another one done, which is good. Okay. Oh, gosh. What's going on with my running? There we go. Such a cool animation as well. Boom. Okay. You're going to be cyan. No, you're going to be... You're going to be um, yellow, I bet. Green. Okay. All right. Um, I think green's probably going to be on this side somewhere. I think you're going to be green. No, you're secretly cyan. You're this is so cyan. Watch, watch, watch. Oh, it was green as well. It was actually green. <laughs> All right, that's fine. I need to remember which one it was, though. It was middle right, wasn't it? I think. Let's hope so. Okay, this is confuzzling. Hang on. Okay, middle left, middle left, maybe. And now we know which one's yellow. There you go. Okay, you're cyan. You were the yellow one, weren't you? So let's just swap that around, I think. Not your cyan. Oh. Plot twist there. Also, I'm thinking of orange, so you are orange. Actually, no, you're yellow, so I'm going to move you there. Aren't you? Yes. Object attention to detail, but still wrong. <laughs> okay. So that means that orange is on the left here. There we go. Boom. Lovely. Okay, so I think you were yellow, and it's literally no one on this side, apart from the far one. So I actually think you're going to be, like, here. Purple. Okay, that that helps. This is These puzzles are literally just kind of trial and error. Okay, so you were purple. No, you're not. You're not. You're cyan, aren't you? It'd be so handy if you were cyan, but you're purple, of course. Okay. Right, so you're purple... You're there. Lovely. And now... I think you're... Gonna be on the far left one as yellow. I think. Yes! And then the other two are left. Look at that. Okay. Can there, is there gonna be like a jump scare off this? I feel like it might be. Boom. Oh. Oh, this is Priscilla's grave. So she is, is she a real person or not? Crimson Maya. Is she like I bet she died in like the 1400s and this is set in the 1800s. It's probably dwelling on it for a bit. Okay. Can you see it, Edwin? She doesn't exist. The tomb is empty. Empty. Edwin, get out of here. Why is the diary set? Um. If you can't understand me. Okay. Move. Run. I will lock you in the crypt with me forever. Sitting with the servants at this mansion. I've got chess. Die. Oh my god, I'm doing this on myself whilst holding a book. No. Okay. Oh my god, she never existed. Rest in peace, Edward Crimson Meyer. Oh, he's not going to be happy about that. He is so not going to be happy about that. But, oh my god, my character has got some, like, 100 IQ play there. I was not thinking that. I was just going to keep on running. But, then again, if he's a ghost, but then he's in a grave, I might be able to go up using water flowing from the ceiling. Sweet. Okay, I like that. That was a cool little plot twist there. And I don't know how I managed to close that crypt with a book in my hand. But, you know what, I guess I've just been working out recently. Right. Is this where you want us to go? Are we out of the mansion? <gasps> oh. Find the lock match in the key. Follow the gravel path. Okay, I think. So could you have actually just jumped into the mansion straight away? Or into the graveyard? Pretty handy. Are we behind the mansion now? I think so. Wow. It's quite nice. This is really nice, actually. Alright, it feels like the morning now. Try putting the key in dispenser. Oh, is that in case you've lost it? There you go. Oh my, thank you very much. There's a few of you. I thought we would never see the sunshine again. I mean, you could have probably just, like, floored at it for a while. That thing locked us there. Us here. Is there going to be a plot to us right there where he's back? Thank you very much, detective. Yay!
Boop, boop. Yay! Scary Tale by El Ulrich MC. Oh. Commands and gameplay by Lewis 120B. Colonel Freezing Heartwave. I thought this was Raspberries. Map building by Darfid. And <laughs> thank you for playing. Thank you, I was going to say. Wow. We did it. Cheeky thumbnail. No one's really looking at me now, though. Can't believe we actually did it. What a great little map. I think round of applause for that. Well done. Well done. That was a, such a good map. Such a playable map. That, those are the maps I enjoy. Where they're just a good amount of time. Like, people bought it. I would say that one is worth a bit of money, to be fair. I still think French is a bit much, but that's the, the Minecraft token economy, so... Can't really mind about that. Wow. And is it actually by Razzleberries? I'm just double checking because it's going to be kind of embarrassing if I've got the thumbnail wrong every time. Um, let's have a look. I'm sure it's a Razzleberries. Yeah, okay. Phew. I'm not wrong there. <laughs> that would have been a bit embarrassing. Okay. Now, here's the final part where we go around and review the map. Okay. Um, here we go. Can, can you guys? Oh, sorry. But you're free. Let's explore the world. Um, okay, so yeah, amazing map. I think compared to the, the map before that, it's like night and day. There were a few spooky areas. I would say it wasn't as spooky as the strategy one. I think that was a little bit spookier. But this one still had a few little jumps. I got scared a few times. Um, I think... Mm, I think they should have done a bit more without the darkness. I feel like without the darkness actually removed the spooking because it was kind of like knowing the fear of the unknown, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know which way should I, I should review it. Like, should I critique first and go nice after? I think so. Um, and then a few other things. I think the puzzles, the puzzles were great to be fair. Uh, but I feel like traversing did kind of just become puzzles. But at least I think that's a weak criticism because I think all the puzzles were different. So I think I should be maybe a bit nitpicky there. Um, the build, the builds have been great. I think amazing. Yeah. And the, the surrounding as well definitely felt really cool. The the diary pages as well, that was a cool little mechanic. Um, it was all just so well written. All the animations as well. Now let's have a crack inside the castle. What is through here? So here is the castle. Um, yeah, just the builds are amazing. Is there anything above? It'd be so cool to see if the lights are actually on. So does this just... Is, is it just... Yeah, I don't think there'll be anything into the roof, will it? Such a massive build. Oh my gosh. And we're not... Oh, this is the roof. <laughs> looks like a massive chocolate bar. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, that looks just amazing. Such a cool build. Um, What else? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, I think it's a little bit annoying being slowed down the whole time. Um, But meh. Again, that's just a very minor critique. Um... Trying to think. I'll go on to the good. So, length of it, of map, amazing. That was worth it. I don't know how you'd be able to like quantify how much something should be worth, considering how long it is. I think I was average on the puzzles. I think I could be a bit quick on some of them, but average on the puzzle. So, a normal speed there. Um, and that would that's made five episodes, I think, all like 10, 11 minutes long. So, you can see there, it was definitely worth it. Um, all of these builds are so cool. Super cool, man. Oh, yeah, I want to see what is actually... Because we fell down here. What was on the other side? Oh, just a little library of a dead end. Um, What else? What else? I like the lore as well. The, like that the little piece of lore. Uh, it actually made this the, feel a bit more, like an actual horror game. You know, like a normal horror game. I mean, just a map. Um, Gave it some world building there. Um, And a little bit of mysteries as well. And a plot. There was a plot line, which is good. And kind of rare for Minecraft map, to be fair. And it was coherent. I would say the plot was fairly coherent. So that was pretty cool there. Um, I think that's most of the things, but overall an astounding little map, really kind of cozy map. Um, and yeah, I think I've said most of the stuff. Spooks were good. It's just so well crafted. Amazing map. Right then, so thank you, Razzleberries, if you are watching this. Um, amazing little map again. I'm gonna go and repeat now, so I'll finish off there. Um, hope you all enjoyed watching this episode then, and this series. I think this is an episode five part, so I'll, I'll say finale at the end. Um. Also, I think I do want to do a few horror maps on the PC because they are a lot more scarier. I think that would be quite fun. Um, 
And what else? Terraria should make a comeback soon. And I, if people want to see the Doctor Seuss map or another map which the person recommended, which I'll get onto soon. I think maybe after Halloween. I think I said that before in a past episode, to be fair. Then I'll definitely have a crack at that. Right then, anyway then, hope you enjoyed episode today then. Be sure to like and subscribe. Join the Discord, links in description. And me and his spooky mansion, which looks... Okay, that is a very cool build. Neo-Gothic. We'll see you all next time then. See ya!